Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that a lot of you have been asking about Windows 11 is Cortana. And Cortana is, yes, still part of the experience of what's happening in the Assistant. But, um, you know, it's not going to be better and it's not going to be uh, something that you'll necessarily want to use. Uh, remember that Cortana is in a shifting direction from a personal assistant. It has now become a assistant for business and for uh, basically uh, being, you know, on top of everything. Uh, so it's really an assistant to try to have you uh, get more from you know, like emails and, and you know how to uh, interact with everything that has to do with work. So that is that going to continue for a long time? That's the big question. I suspect and we'll see. But personally, I think Cortana is at some point going to go away. Um, I can't see much people using Cortana, you know. I, I was one of those that were was er, early adopter that kind of liked the uh, fact that I had a, a a standard assistant like you know Google assistant or or the uh, Amazon one and that was kind of cool to have that in Windows I found it interesting and fun of course it came with its um, um, complaints about you know how it can't be removed or turned off but uh, completely but um, you know yeah this is still the Cortana pretty much the same thing that they'll have in Windows 10 but um, I don't see much of a future for this uh, Cortana app anymore honestly um, and I have a hard time thinking it's going to continue uh, in much of our future some of you have also asked me about something that some of you have actually heard and it has to do with Skype so a lot of you have been uh, telling me, well, how about Skype? I've kind of heard that Skype would be gone from Windows 11 and so on. So Skype still works. I mean, I use it. I am uh, constantly using Skype every week. It works in Windows 11, absolutely. But that said, what Microsoft is trying to push in the future for apps is to push the apps in the uh, Microsoft Teams app. So that's kind of the new, you know, Zoom style um, conference app that they want us to use from Microsoft. Windows 11 will be shipped with Teams for consumers. So that will be something that um, will be new and to add in to chat with others. From what we know is that Skype might um, slowly disappear over time. Microsoft is, I think trying to just get away from Skype and push everybody to the uh, um, Teams meeting app. And of course, you'll be able to use Teams for consumers and of course for business uh, at the same time. So these are going to be the changes coming up uh, for sure. In Windows 11, if you are in the United States today, July 20th, actually a lot of you are getting Teams uh, preview. So uh, you might see a new chat icon in your Windows 11 uh, operating system. But there are definitely a few changes in there in the future. And um, this is to answer the uh, few questions I've had from some of the viewers on uh, Skype and on uh, the, um, of course, uh, Cortana app uh, that is really a shadow of itself. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.